All right, it's time for some cheer. This is the FWD media, uh, FWDG Media Day. It's a mouthful, but that's because we're having so much fun. We're chatting with lots of folks, and WHHI Sports and WHHI News is here to capture it all. We've been talking to so many football players. It's wonderful to get some chance to chat with cheer teams, and you all bring a lot of spirit, I understand, to games. So Kristen Smith is here. She is the coach, and you coach a lovely group of girls tell us a little bit about it well one thing about creek cheer is not only do we lead on the field or court depending on who we're cheering for but also in the classroom a lot of people say that and they think that oh it's just applies to academics but our girls are very involved in the community on our student lead teams on our action plan teams and they're very involved in the community so leadership for us is not only on game day but it's really a lifestyle that we carry in our program you know we were talking a little bit about that off camera actually i got so into our our conversation about this this cheer team uh we had to get rolling so we did that but you all do so much and i love that you're involved because you know in a way you all are out there um pumping up the team pumping up the audience but you're really like ambassadors for the schools in a lot of way i love that you own that in such a special way it's so cool i'm gonna have you two introduce yourself and what grade you're in. Hi, I'm Leslie and I'm a senior this year. Hi, I'm Shayla. I am a senior this year. Okay, so we've got two seniors and coach here. No one would be better to talk about this program. Uh, let's talk a little bit about size because sometimes we go to the games and we see these enormous teams and that's wonderful. The, you all are a little bit smaller, but you pack a big punch. Tell us, will you come over here? I want to talk, chat with you for a minute. Tell us a little bit about your, your team and what you all do every season. You all have been together a couple of years now. So. All of the girls on the team have been together or on the team for about two to three years plus. So honestly, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. I think we pack a mighty punch, especially with going to games. We honestly work together and we work hard at what we do. So when it comes to being a smaller team, putting in the work to sound as good as possible is honestly really good so let's talk a little bit about that about the athleticism of this team uh obviously the school spirit no yeah. question about that but tell what kinds of things are you doing are, are we talking about stunts or are we what are talking about dance what are you all doing so our team is pretty well rounded when it comes to certain things like that so we do dance at our games we do stunts at our games we cheer at our games we do everything we can to make sure the audience is pumped up and we also like to make sure that we're entertaining them us being a smaller team we like to entertain them as much as possible whether that be doing a simple cha-cha slide or if we want to do the wobble stuff like that we love entertaining our crowd so things like that especially with us being smaller like i said it is like you have big teams out here doing all these stunts and everything but i feel like with us being smaller us doing all these things are really setting us apart from them you got me pumped up already. I want to go. I want to do the wobble yes. and the cha-cha slide. I love it. Okay, so being that this is a, a, a close-knit team and you all are doing so much together, I'm curious what prep looks like. I mean, it sounds like you have such good energy and, and such a good time, really. What does preparing for game day really look like? How much practice is there off the field before you get there? And what kinds of things are you doing? So I think practicing before you um, get on the field is really the biggest thing that we do. We also do pray together before we get um, on the field. So it's like coming together before every game and just being around each other's presences and just preparing for what we're about to do together because as a team you're together pretty much 24 7 we practice um, four days out the week if we're not at practice we're out doing community service so we're honestly together all the time so being together and keeping the good energy and the positivity between each other is really the biggest thing for us especially with being on the field we have to cheer up our athletes especially when they get down we're the only ones to keep them up and especially the audience keeping them up so being positive around all of us especially our coach she provides a terrific environment for us to be positive with I absolutely love her she makes sure that we're all very well rounded in our spirituality and making sure that we're all um, closely connected in a sisterhood you can tell that and I'm gonna get you back over here coach Smith because I want to ask you about the stadium and what's new we got like 30 seconds but brag on all this cool stuff you have going on so our renovations are almost near complete and we will be getting a brand new stadium turf field with a jumbotron screen. The track hasn't been installed yet, but it will and it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful experience for you all to basically come see the Dolphins do what we do best and that's perform and put on a show. I can't wait. I'm going to be there with bells on. You all are fantastic. <laughs> Good luck this season. Thank you so much. I'm Jessa Jeremiah with WHHI News. We'll be right back after this break.